Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Book of Jane. This is an official robe review on Bigfoot Foot Spa in Beaverton, Oregon. It is on Allen and Murray Boulevard, about two blocks, three blocks from my house. So I have decided, I know I'm not supposed to fuss with my eyebrows, sorry. I have decided uh, to support and review all the kind of micro spas, small family owned spas around my neighborhood uh, through the end of the year, because we can't, we're not doing any traveling. So normally I would be off on other places. And so we started with a place called Bigfoot Foot Spa. And it is, um, it is a, I would guess it's a family owned. There are only three therapists there. My girlfriend and I went last Friday afternoon. I booked the 60 minute foot massage thinking that it was only going to be from my knees down. Uh, mostly because it says Bigfoot Foot Spa. So I was thinking that they probably only did feet, but they actually do full bodies. They have six treatment rooms. Now you walk in and what they've done is they've just taken like raw space and then they built out treatment rooms um, on both sides with a hallway down the middle, but there are not ceilings on the rooms. So I would guess that noise would sort of travel over those rooms if they were all full. I haven't, I haven't experienced that, but I was laying there thinking, going, wow, if there were other people in the rooms, because you know, people can be chatty on the table. Or if there were a, two other ladies next to us and sometimes people chat when they're in the same room. So I, I, I would, just caution you a little bit about that. I don't, we'd have, we're, we're gonna experience it again and see what happens if there's more people in actually in getting work done. Um, all right, so we arrived on time. Uh, we, they took our temperature. Um, we didn't have to fill out anything. Um, we didn't do an intake. He took us right into the massage room and there were two tables, really low, to the ground, maybe a foot and a half off the floor. So we laid down, he said, face up, and we put our feet kind of over the edge of the table. And then he put, he brought in big buckets of warm water, which was nice, stuck our feet in there, and we just pulled up our pant legs. We laid down, we were fully clothed. I was just expecting total footwork. Um, I did look at my watch because I always want to know if an hour when it says 60 minutes, Sometimes, sometimes spas will do, you know, this facial or this massage, but in spa world, it's really only 50 minutes. So I want the full hour or the full hour and a half that I pay for. And we actually got a full hour. We started 10 minutes late, but they did roll till 10 after six. So just, that was fabulous. Um, so the therapist came in, uh, masks on, um, all good. And I was just expecting footwork and he started right up at my feet and started working on my neck. And I was like, oh, well, this is, this is, this is okay. And so, you know, you've got clothes on and my hair was there. And it, so it was a little bit, um, you, you know, I, I don't know how therapists work on bodies when we don't have access to them. Now, um, in their description of the actual treatment, it says 10 minutes, arms and hands, 35 minutes feet, and 15 minutes on the back. So he actually started up on my head and my neck, and then he worked down my arms. And the only complaint, one, just a small one would be that he got to my shoulder. I have a little arthritis in the shoulder and he, he pushed really hard on it and, and it hurt. And uh, I said, Oh no, you can't, you can't go that deep. And he did not understand what I said. So if the other therapist had not been in the room, I mean, I think, you know, I think he would have gotten it, but, but I, and I have had several treatments where the person treating me did not speak English and we managed to do okay. So just, just know that. Um, 
The work was okay. It wasn't anything to write home about. I kind of tend to lay there and sometimes go, well, yeah, no. The, because this, because <laughs> I've done it for so long and I, and I, well, I try not to put that in my head, but it's very hard sometimes, which is why when I'm at the big spas, I get the scrubs and I get the, you know, not the massage because then I don't tend to like, then I can just lay there and let somebody scrub on me because I'm not expecting them to do kind of massage work. So it was, it was okay. Now at about 45 minutes, they flipped us over. Um, he did some back work. Um, we did a little bit more head work and you know, then we came off the table and I said to my girlfriend, I said, well, what'd you think? She goes, Oh, I liked it. And I said, Re really? Yeah. Oh I, yeah, it was good. And I was like, wow. Cause again, I was kind of going, hmm, yeah, okay, not, you know, not exactly what I was thinking it was going to be. And this happens a lot. I hear this a lot from my clients. That's not, I thought I ordered this and then this is what I got and I didn't understand it. And so we came off the table. Now there was a male and a female therapist and I did ask my girlfriend, I said, would you have been uncomfortable with the male therapist? And she said, absolutely. I, I don't, I would have not liked that. And I said, well, okay, it's good that I got him. And, but they didn't even, um, a lot of, a lot of places will say, um, you know, do you prefer, is it okay if we put a male in there with you? But that question was not asked. So be aware of that. And we came out of the treatment room and there was a sign on the desk that said, um, there's a dollar charge to use a credit card. That, that one was a little hard. <laughs> that one was a little hard to take because I, uh, pay credit card charges every day. And um, it's kind of built into the price of my work. That's what it costs to take credit cards. Like I didn't have any cash because people don't usually carry cash. So um, I, I can understand, you know, trying to keep, I can understand trying to keep a small spa open, paying rent, Pay, paying your taxes, you know, keeping license, what we had to spend in personal protection equipment to get the doors back open. I understand all of that. And I was actually laying there um, thinking, I wonder what their rent is. Because it's a very busy little corner in Beaverton. It's a very established strip mall. Um, there's an anchor there, Safeways there, and then um, Ace Hardware. Sorry, I have to. I have to click to remember things. Ace Hardware is on the other corner, so it's a really established strip mall in a very populated area in our city, and the rent cannot. I would guess $2,000 plus a month for that rent. If it's under that, I would be shocked. It, it's not $1,000 for rent, I can tell you that right now. It's, it's a lot more than that. So I, I, forgive, I forgive some things when I know that, I, when I know what, the, what it costs to open the doors in in our industry and you know what laundry cost and licensing cost and all of that and these prices are extremely reasonable in in the world um so it's in the on their on their menu it's a pretty simple little menu there's foot massage there's three sessions there's a 60 minute session and a um one of the 60 minute sessions is with oil and one is without. And then there's a 90 minute session for $60. So you could get off work in Beaverton at four or five o'clock on a Friday afternoon, book this 90 minute session for $60 
and I think you would like it. They have body massage and then they have what is called a combo. So in the 90 minute session in the body massage, I will just read you um, what it says here. 25 minutes, head, neck, shoulders, arms, and hands, plus 15 minutes on the legs, plus 50 minutes on the back with massage oil, sugar scrub, and hot stone to help loosen contracted muscles and achieve relaxation experience. So this one is 90 minutes for $100. I, I would buy this 90 minute foot massage for $60 first and see how this one, I'm sure all the foot massages are with your clothes on and uh, the things on the back would probably be sort of a more traditional where you get under the sheets. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, will I go back? But n maybe not till I get through the rest of the um, rest of the massa massage places, spas around me, pedicure places. There's a lot. So there's a lot to explore. I was thinking driving in into work today. If I just take where I'm sitting right now in my office and went literally three miles out. I could I could probably spa all year next year and never repeat the same thing twice, which is good. So you have a lot of uh, choices, a lot of places to experience around me. This morning on the way to work, there is a uh, Asian spa, just like this one called Shangri-La Massage Spa. It is two blocks from my office. I whipped in there today and booked that for tomorrow at four o'clock. And I said, I want only feet. And she said, okay. And and I said, do you want my name? She goes, no. I said, do you want a credit card? No. I said, oh. she said, just be back at four and don't forget. And I said, we, I won't forget. So I called a girlfriend. I got another girlfriend going with me tomorrow. So I'm just supporting uh, businesses around me. I hope that if you um, are in a neighborhood that you will venture out a little bit. Um, if you're looking for a therapist or a nice little place to, um, you, you know, maybe you're working at home and you, you need to get out of the house and go experience some local work in your neighborhoods because I promise they are out there. They are out there. Sometimes Medicare, uh, me, pam, blah, 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 blah. sometimes pedicure, manicure places have treatment rooms in there. They do facials. Sometimes they do massage. So just do a little search. Um, find who you love. If you have a regular therapist that you go see, uh, please start going to see them again and support support their business. All right, I'm signing off today. That is the official robe review for the Bigfoot Foot Spa in Beaverton, Oregon. Please uh, let me know if you have any comments or if you've been to the Bigfoot Foot Spa and um, experienced something different. I would love to hear that as well. Um, and please just support uh, your local small business in your neighborhood. Signing off for today, everybody. This is the official robe review from the book of Jane. Have a glorious day.